Uh, what else did we have we want to talk about? Nothing. That's it for today's episode. No, here shut up. Lady. We're not done. What's up, guys? We have uh, Candy We're Grams. Driving. Candy yeah. Grams getting ready to go out down here in the choir room. Also wanted to make a note that Taylor Swift was just named Time no, Person. Daddy. Oh, my gosh. Get, get it out of here. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Taylor Swift was just named no, no. Time Person. Of the year. Now, Beyonce was on the list in 2017. She came in sixth place. Now she's 37. How did we get her to 37? I'm pissed. Like, what's Winfrey wrong? Winfrey is not even top five. Hello? What's wrong with the people? Hello? However, the Renaissance movie did very well in theaters. It, you know it was good. Beyonce made $27 million. The Eras Tour made $250 million globally. Look how long it was. Okay. Oh, is she still going? Is she still, still going? going? Actually. She had a Beyonce needs to do it one time and she says, I'm done. Hey, she got the money queen. already. She can shut up the world. He's world she, is, stop. she is queen. Here we are. Absolutely. She's and uh, and Taylor Swift is time person of the it's year. Because, you know why. You know why. You know why this happened. Because she's popular. TV for what's the date? Friday, December the 8th, 2023. She got mm. it right. Uh, it's Christmas is almost here. What is on your Christmas list for this year? I want the new pair of 11s coming out. I want the fives, the, the orange and brown fives. And that's it. Nothing else? How much, I told, I how told. much are those 11s going to cost? Okay, they're 230 Listen, listen. That's listen. not, oh, that's not unreasonable i've heard way worse the fives are 215 i think so you want shoes all right uh we have state testing that is continuing through the building so please be mindful uh there's going to be some makeup testing that's happening over the next few days you better attend you today to. is game day we wanted to make uh that known the basketball team has actually got an away game tonight at lewisburg uh, and so if you're able to make the trip over to Lewisburg High School tonight, I know the basketball teams would greatly appreciate you coming out and supporting them. Uh, the big news in the building is that we got a new football coach and we wanted to introduce our new football coach. Do you remember his name? Hector. That's correct, Coach Hectorn. Uh, you'll see him walking around the building, especially in the afternoons. He's already here doing some work with the football team in the weight room. And uh, we're really excited. We got the chance to sit down with him for actually two separate interviews. 
We've got like a more formal interview that Bree handled with him that you will see next week. But today we wanted to show you a, just a quick little informal interview that I did with him with several of those get to know you questions that we always end up liking to do here on the show. All right, we are here with a brand new football coach, Coach Hectorn. Would you like to say hello to everybody? Hello, everyone. <laughs> We're going to ask him some of our uh, just shoot the breeze questions here. If you could be a foreign ambassador, <laughs> which country would you choose? That's quite a question for a football coach. Mexico, as long as I'm on the beach, I think. Mm, nice one. Who's the best teacher you ever had growing up? Best teacher I ever had growing up? I'm going to say Coach Crotwell. All right. What, what did he teach? Um, history, I think. I don't know. He was just an awesome coach and uh, sent this to him. What scared you the most when you were young? Uh, almost stepped on a snake. I'm terrified of snakes. I uh, almost stepped on, on one. And, um, and you, were in, you were in Florida for a while, and there were some, some unpleasant snakes in yeah, Florida. Yeah, see, I stayed on sidewalks here. <laughs> <laughs> if a genie gave you three wishes, what would you get? Um, I, I, I think, first of all, i got to have some money. Um, Definitely. Yeah, I guess you can't get more wishes, can you? I think um, I would just wish for a bank account that was always full. Full, whenever you wanted it. What do you do after that? I think you're good. That's true. That, that pretty much gives you every other wish. Yep. If you had to downsize, what would you get rid of? My dogs. <laughs> Man, I, whew, my dogs. Now, what would the wife and kids say to that? They would downsize me, I believe. <laughs> what makes someone a success? That's a deep question. Very deep. I think uh, being the best version of themselves. Mm, I love it. What's the earliest memory you have? Mm, I remember, and I'm not exactly sure where we were, but I remember being picked up out of a, a seat, in the, a car seat or the back of the seat. No, we mm -hmm. didn't have car seats back then. And being set up on top of the car while they got everything out of the car. I remember the parking lot. Yeah, and I don't remember exactly where we were. Yep. I probably made all that up, but. Do you have a favorite stock pick? I'm betting Coach Hector doesn't play the stock market, but he might. Not at all. <laughs> yeah. We leave that to people that are smarter than us. We just go into the mutual fund and say, there you go. manage my money for me. Are you concerned about your health, your career, or relationships? Hmm. I guess we're kind of concerned about all of it. I'm getting a little older, so so the health is comes in, but I still think relationships. I always mm. want to make sure those are good. If you can com could compete in any Olympic event, current Olympic event, which one would you choose? I'd, I'd like to be fast, so I think the, the 100 meter dash. Mm -hmm. What was your first job? Uh, cutting grass at a warehouse. I got all the grass around it and uh, it just never stopped growing. I mean, you would think at some point you'd get done. Never did. Yard work was my first job here in mm -hmm. South Haven, actually. If you could wear anything to work, what would you choose to wear? <laughs> Um, hey man, I'm a, I'm a joggers and sweats, uh, sweats. hoodie, hoodie kind of guy. Man, you know? absolutely. What's your favorite fast food meal? Mmm. Um, we, we, we hit Chick-fil-A quite a bit. I don't know if it's quite my favorite, but uh, I don't know if I get to eat too much other things with my kids. That's the Lewis household. That's, that's what we eat. Uh, if you, would you choose to only need two hours of sleep a night if it meant you would die seven years earlier? No, I need to sleep. <laughs> That's I'll a take terrible chance, question. Yeah. Uh, you're not going to answer that one. <laughs> what is your favorite? Oh, a lot of football coaches don't like answering this. Do you have a college team you really like? I, I don't. I don't. I just enjoy. I, I, let me rephrase that. I love college football. Uh, That's you, get, I. you get to a point where, um, in this profession, that you know you coach guys that are at different places. You you get to know co coaches that are different places. Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard to root for them, but uh, understandably so. Love. I just love college football. Okay. We've recently college football is in a little bit of turmoil right now. We've got four teams. Uh, who do you like? They're all four really really good teams. If you had, if I had to tell you right now, pick one. Could you pick one and tell me why? Yeah, I think I can, and and, and I'd have to say Alabama. Um, they've been there, they've done it. Uh, they, they seem to always pull it out. They find a way. <laughs> they've gotten better all year long. Um, it's hard to bet against them. Are you predicting Alabama, Texas, as the 
the final game. A lot of people are thinking that Texas might be able to pull off the Washington win. You know, I've not seen Texas play a lot this year. I've seen Washington a few times. Uh, you know, I think they're pretty good. I think that's going to be a good one. Um, man, if you're if you're forcing me, are you forcing me to make a pick here? Yeah. Um, I'm going to go Washington. Just, just for fun here. So Washington-Bama is kind of what you have maybe as the final game. And the most eyeballs are liable to be on the Florida-Georgia game. Oh yeah, Florida State-Georgia. Um, Those commercials right now are going for a lot of money, I can promise that you. Is, that's tough. That's a tough deal there for both of those schools, but uh, at least they get to play each other. You yes. Know? So it's, you still kind of have that playoff deal. Obviously you're not playing for quite a, quite a big of a deal as, as they would in the playoff. Right. Now, do you tend to pull for the uh, Philadelphia Eagles when it comes to NFL since all N'Kobe Dean's there? Do yeah, a... it's pretty hard not to. Mm -hmm. Pretty hard not to. But but obviously, uh, him, love him to death and, and proud of him. But, you know, there's a lot of guys on that team that are just winners. And um, the way they carry themselves, yeah, they're a lot of fun to watch. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Coach. Yes, sir. Thank you. All right, so I uh, also went and did another little segment of things that I don't like and things that I think are weird with Coach Partee. Bree got bored with the segment. It wasn't like given like the last episode, like the last clip, like it wasn't given. Whatever, uh, check it out. We're back for another uh, episode of things that don't make sense and things that I just don't like. Coach Partee enjoyed the last one. He was actually kind of uh, sad that it stopped and he told me, run on back down here and let's film another episode real quick. Yeah, so things I don't like. Uh, social security cards. They print a Walmart gift card on this really nice hard plastic but our social security card comes in the mail on the flimsiest piece of paper you've ever seen in your life, and it tears apart and shreds itself in your wallet yeah. the first time you get first stuck time. in a rainstorm. There's no physical evidence that says today is Wednesday. We just all have to trust that someone has kept <laughs> count since the beginning of time. <laughs> I used to think the same thing. Like, how do they? How do we know it's Thursday? How do we know it's actually Wednesday or actually like Thursday? Day, like, yeah. somebody at some point back in the caveman days yeah. lost count at some point. Yeah. It kind of makes sense that the largest target audience for fidget spinners lost interest in them so quickly. Yeah. You know what? They were really hot. They were really hot. They, and then nobody cared them. anything yeah. about them. Things that don't make sense. When we're young, we sneak out of the house to go to parties. When we're old, we sneak out of the party to go, to go home. Yeah, look, yeah. I said, I'm, I'm with you on that one. Got to find an excuse real quick, you know. My oh, my, my kid's not see, feeling yeah, good. I got yeah. to get home real quick. Imagine how rich you would have had to have been 200 years ago to have music playing in the background while you were cooking supper. Mm. You would have had to have He's looking confused yeah. behind the camera. Yeah, no, they didn't right. have record players right. or recording devices 200 years ago. If you wanted live music while you were cooking spaghetti, you had to hire a full orchestra to sit over in the kitchen. Think about that for a second. Watching a preschool graduation ceremony is like watching an entire movie that's nothing but credits. <laughs> you did not lie to my son. And I, we just sat there like, okay. You're not speaking loud enough, they can't hear you. Oh, we watched it. My son's uh, graduated from preschool and we was like, okay. Oh, things that don't make sense. If you drive a new car, you're rich. If you drive an old car, you're poor. But if you drive a really, really old car, you're super rich. Mm. I drove a 901 beat up Honda. <laughs> I drove a doo-doo brown Ford Taurus. <laughs> See, at least the you ugliest didn't. brown color you've ever seen in your life. Pull into the South Haven High School. Ah, uh, you went to South Haven? Yeah. Graduated 1999. Okay. 1999. <laughs> they played the Prince party like it's 1999 at our prom. Everybody went crazy. Crazy. You know? <laughs> <laughs> This 
This week's feature vocabulary words are ethereal, evolve, and exploit. Ethereal, extremely delicate and light in a way that seems too perfect for this world. Evolve, develop gradually, especially from a simple to a more complex form. Exploit, make full use and derive benefit from. Use a situation or person in an unfair or selfish way. It's now time for today's announcements. Pay attention because Bree is unprepared. <laughs> First one, are you gonna read it or I'm gonna read it? Drama Club, December 13th, 6 p.m., two shows. You show up, five dollars. <laughs> The Drama Club has some uh, fantastic shows. They've got a reading of The Christmas Carol, and they've also got uh, a student-written uh, comedy-like mystery that's uh, supposed to be really, really good. So come out and support the drama department again. Next. Again, that is December 13th, and it's going to be at 6 p.m. in the auditorium. The dance team is also having tryouts because they are going to do a small competition season. So uh, those tryouts are December the 11th through the 12th. They're going to be after school in the multi-purpose room. You must have a current physical in order to try out. And that is it for today's episode. Here at Horn Lake, we are better students always growing and expecting more. Stay tuned for your lunch menus and athletic schedule. We'll see you here Monday. Monday. Have a fantastic day. What if you don't get the pairs of shoes that you really want? I'm going to have a fit. <laughs> is there a certain color or style that you've made very aware that it has to be? I was like, okay, Amarian, Mom, like, one of y'all pick one of the shoes, because I'm going to get both. They pick one each, and there's my Christmas. <laughs> I better get them all. You and I was like, right. I was like, they need to, like, come together, see which shoes each of them going to pick, because I'm not going to get two pairs of the same shoes. I've been waiting all year for my Christmas gifts, making a list. Wrapped up in a bow, something just for me, baby, you're my wish. <laughs> what my heart is longing for now, what I really want to see, what I really want underneath my Christmas tree. Getting caught up in the spirit, knowing that it's coming soon. Pretty red and green tinsel all around the room. Singing the old can by candlelight Roasting chestnuts on the open fire Every little thing with you just feels right So right, cause Santa always comes at night I've been waiting on this Sunday glow since last New Year's Eve Cause Santa always comes at night, Santa always comes at night You won't be the one I'm waiting on when Santa comes. Seeing visions of Tiffany boxes blue and turtle doves. Kissing on a gas lamp sidewalk underneath the starry sky. Walking down the royal Santa always comes at night, Santa always comes at night.